and last week we started our prayer time with this this little oh I need to joys and concerns first okay do you have joys or concerns you would like to share it's nice to be seeing spring coming closer yes spring has almost sprung I remember that <laughs> So we had a little bit of push to that <coughs> Last week when I went home from home in the spring, and then I had this talk with one of my best loving grand friends. And so the funeral was Friday and that terrible wind, but that week the bar trip came out. This is the strangest funeral I ever been to. Really? Yeah. So this was one of your good friends. Well, it's one of those that, you know, I, my mother and her mother had gone to school and together, <coughs> and we'd gone together, we'd been on the school bus on the same seat for six years, and uh, when times got tough, she was always there. So it's been a hard week for you. Next Sunday, Christine has her grand opening for her new um, acupuncture, um, her massage acupuncture building, and she's having a ceremonial Chinese lion dance to bless the building at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Are you dancing? <laughs> just, just observing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you could learn something new. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting. Yeah, so yes. Kind of an exciting, stressful time for her. And, yes. And um, need her prayers to, that it goes well. Yes, yes. Because she, she did made a big step and moved and the whole thing so make sure you tell her that we're thinking of her and keeping her in prayer this is chris so next sunday afternoon huh so look at our calendar <laughs> don you gonna dance too <laughs> it's in moline in moline yeah i'd be from one to six but uh the ceremonial lion dances at three o'clock. Huh? At three o'clock? Three o'clock. Okay. Okay. Good. I got a bad week coming this week, so. Okay. So we'll keep you in our prayers, Lori. Well, it's a joy that, that Lynn Heather was able to come this Sunday. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's good to see you. Yeah, it's really good to see you this morning. Yes. I have a concern. It's February 21st and our Christmas tree is still up. Uh oh. I have to do something about that. Are you asking for help? Are you asking for volunteers? I was afraid Mike would tell, but no, you have to tell. Oh, is Don retired? Hey, come on now. For this year. Pardon? I said, is Don retired? Yeah. Yeah, he is retired. Let's get to the point where we're going to have to adjust the or something. Just burn it. Burn it. It's not Easter yet. You can take eggs for Christmas. <laughs> there you go. Decorated for Easter. There you go, yeah. See? Put eggs and bunnies on it. There you go. Here you have a chance, Don. Well, okay, see? Not the only one. There's still one. There's still one. Make sure this all the newsletter. Yeah, no kidding. Lights outside up year round. Yeah. So, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in the minority now. <laughs> <laughs> Get with the time. <laughs> it's 
the new trend, right? <laughs> All right. Other things to share. Well, we did sing a little bit of a song last week as we began our prayer time. So I invite you to join me if you remember it. And if not, you can catch on pretty quickly, I think. All right. Come and rest. Come and listen. Lay the fullness of your lives before the Maker. Come and rest, come and rest, come and listen, come and listen. Lay the fullness of your lives before the Maker. Let's pray. <coughs> Gracious and wonderful God. We are thankful to be here with you today. We're thankful that we are able to join together with others to praise your name and, and bring our joys and our concerns before you. There are many people, God, who are walking in the dark woods for many reasons. We have named some out loud this morning. And there are others that remain silently upon our hearts. We know, God, that you are a powerful God, that you are full of healing and comfort and strength. And we pray now that each one of these might know your blessings upon them. God, we thank you for this church on this corner in this community. We pray that you continue to guide us and direct us and show us how to share the love of Jesus Christ with those who have not heard. We ask your blessings to be upon our week, that they, we might find that quiet time to spend with you. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. And we pray together now that prayer he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now let us receive our morning tithes and offerings. <coughs>
like I told people, it took me 45 minutes to unclog the machine after I only combined for a half hour. That's not a good ratio. Well, as it turned out, of course, with a self-propelled machine, you can disengage the separator, you know, and you can start the machine up again. Well, I got to thinking as far as about an incident many years before, back in the 50s or whatever, my landlord told me about it. And he had a case pull type combine. Now, it's not self-propelled because the tractor pulls it. Some have a PPO on it or a takeoff driven. This one had a Wisconsin engine on the top, four cylinder, hand crank, okay? To get it started. Some of you remember hand cranks, I'm sure. Well, as it turned out, as far as he plugged it up, out the old field, this is the end of July. And of course, those things were notorious. If it got hot and it died, it didn't start right away. So he plugged it up, he couldn't stop it quick enough, you know, and it fed in and a chunk of something, whatever, damp, green. And so he decided, well, you know, better wait a few seconds. And he got up there, and of course, the day when you have 90 some degrees, you had to climb up on top of the combine, and he put his hands as far as on a place to brace yourself while you start to crank. Well, unbeknownst to him, he didn't think. You know, there's three strikes and you're out. Well, this was his first strike. He should never plug the machine in. Strike two was he put his left hand out to brace himself, and he put it on the hot muffler, the manifold. And of course, he didn't get the thing started either. <clears throat> he got back off of it. The pain was so bad. Now, my way, usually, is if you stick it in your mouth, that helps or put it between your legs. Well, neither was helping for it. So he went to the toolbox, which was on the hitch near the front of the machine, and he grabbed an old grease rag out of it, had kerosene soap, and he wrapped his hand in it. Now, the next thing you do, for the paint, he was a pipe smoker at the time. He stopped his pipe, and he lit it. When he lit it, he lit, lit his left hand. <laughs> he became a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> He says, you know, that was strike three. Now, he says, that was a bad summer, the rest of the summer. It was August, you know, when you have burns, they have to keep scrubbing off the stuff, the dead skin that. He says, the stench, they didn't have air conditioning. <laughs> He's working with that. It was a constant reminder that the pain wasn't enough. So when you hear three strikes, you're out, just make sure, keep looking at each step as you go, because it will get worse. <laughs> Praise God from whom all blessings flow. <coughs> Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Let us pray together. Dear God, our Savior, we find peace and freedom in emptying ourselves before you. May our minds be set not on earthly things, but on your ultimate purposes. Help us to place our hope in you. In trust, we dedicate these gifts for your service. Let more people come to know your saving help, Christ our Lord. Amen. And our closing hymn is Open My Eyes That I May See, page 452.